Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, a Disney dog for my Disney movie marathon. And it's gonna be Snow White this time around. So what I'm thinking here is that this could be my last Disney movie related video up until next time I guess. I mean I want to take a little break from reviewing Disney stuff until like a little later, maybe towards the end of the month. I was thinking to review even more Disney stuff. So in between now and then, I want to take a little break from this, from Disney related stuff. So until I guess later, this will be my last review for the Disney stuff until, you know, later on. So, so we'll make a little announcement right there. So with that being said, let's just get into it. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be this. Disney Snow White folks. It looks a lot better than the other versions of this doll I've seen. And this particular one is a lot more expensive. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like like the movie really, but you know, you can tell it's supposed to be her from the outfit. I can say I do like the face right here, folks. The face are stretched with the doll. The blouse for her is actually pretty well adjusted as well too, folks, because it looks of course she does have that little bird right here folks which I thought was a we do get a little screenshot kind of a thing right here a drawing the back and I do like the little sparkers right there folks and the little design for the dress Re they're really trying to capture the look of the of the film I guess even the design for the box itself does seem rather nice if you ask me folks yeah they're trying to really, really trying to give you like a sort of charm to the overall box design and even like the background as well folks I do like the little red cape right there too, folks, in the background. So, they actually didn't forget about the cape. There's even a little design on the side of it as well, folks, of the box. So, it's a so yeah, it's even on the other side as well, folks. So, there's quite a bit of effort being placed on the... And the limbs of the character, the arms, are actually, they're actually really flexible as well. They're bendable. Even, so, even along with the head itself, you can move side yeah, the asking price can vary depending on where you go. It can be sixteen ninety five or twenty one dollars and ninety five cents depending on where you go. But I actually got it for a. So once again, I might add that the overall design for the character is actually pretty good. If you ask me, folks, I did like what was done here. Looks fairly similar to the character in the film. I like the hairstyle too, obviously. I do like the little thing they had for the around the Amazon the neck area, this little thing here. So again, that's a nice little tu detail touch, and of course with the red lips and the eyeliner, of course. So all of this is really nicely done, and a little um, headband here too. Again, lots of details put into it. I even like the the background as well. You can obviously tell that it was made from really good material. I guess that's why it can be actually rather expensive in some places, I guess. But anyway. It's a pretty solid doll if you ask me folks. You can always have it for your collection I guess. So it'll get an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya until next time.